The date is January 14, 2016. The time is 6.37 p.m. Rick Charette. Present. Rob Collins. Here. Gary Chicarone. Jim Freeman. Ed Kamau. Present. Dave Champion II. Second. Present. Rich Zacker. Here. Diane Smith. Here. We have uh, two working members absent. But enough for four. Can we sit tonight for a carry? Diane? Sit Thank you. Do you have any public floating around here with you? No. Public comments? None. <clears throat> no announcements, no correspondence, no mail. Public hearing. We can we can get into this public care and we can wait a half an hour for the public to show up. I suggest we go for it. So order of business, the public hearing shall be as follows. We'll call on the uh, public hearing to order. 20 minutes to 7, we don't see any public here, so we're going to go go ahead. We're here to um, review the proposals and amend to amend the zoning ordinance. Driveways, working document, minimum for approved private roads, working document, and zoning ordinance, working document. So everybody has copies of those. Worked on these for the past few weeks, and if you just look at them, make sure that this is what we agreed upon. But to insert into uh, the zone numbers. Mr. Chairman, yes. just a quick question: Are yep. we? I didn't review the. Rules procedure, but I believe there's something that talks about if no public shows up to a public hearing. Yeah. Uh, and do we do we know what that is, or should we look it up? Or that right there. Okay. In the event that no member of the public is present when the hearing is open, the chair may suspend the proceeding until one appears, or until one half hour has passed. If no one appears within the time, the chair shall declare that the hearing closed, and the board shall deliberate. Okay. So. Are you, did you do that? Did you call it to order and then suspended it? I called it to order. It, it doesn't say to me that, that we have to do any of those. It says that we may do it. That's before I opened the, the hearing. I, I, I offered that to the board. I, and I thought we could get right into it. And if anybody wants to go by this, I'm willing to do it. You want to wait the half hour? If I understand the intent, it, my, my guess would that the intent of that would be to make sure that we don't like open and close the hearing like at 6.30 and somebody comes in five minutes late and it's all done with, right? Right. Um, I would, I don't know, do we have other business you want to do? No, we're here for the hearing. Finish off the half hour. Well, could we just motion to just wait the half hour and then just so it's official and just return? Sure. And then if nobody shows up, how long will we how long will we wait after that? Well the meeting was scheduled for six thirty. So we can wait to seven. I think that's yeah, if somebody shows up more, I think if you give somebody a half an hour. Half hour late and still see part of the area. Okay. 
Okay, um, I move we suspend the proceedings until 7 p.m. in case someone shows up. Second. Discussion? In favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We want to suspend the meeting until 7 o'clock. The whole meeting or just the public hearing? Public hearing. Okay. And that's what we're here for. So. Do you just want to take a recess until 7? Yeah, take a recess until 7. Okay, 7, 701, we're resuming. No public has appeared. So clearly, um, hearing open. Did everyone look, look these over again? Is, is this um, exactly what we talked about? Okay, the um, private road, the approved private road, that everybody's, that's everyone's satisfaction? Accept the, um, the three working documents and send them to the lawyer to be worded into the warrant documents. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll send your motion. Okay. Discussion? Yes. Um, the, the working documents as they stand are a little disjointed. And, and as George pointed out, there's one working document of which one whole page is no longer um, appropriate because it's, there were no changes made to the building lot um, article in, in the uh, right. zoning ordinance. Um, so I was, I, I didn't know since this is the first time as a member of the board going through this process, 
Um, I, I'm not, it's not clear to me whether or not it will be presented in a, in a, in, in a different way. Um, and toward that end, um, I had just started collecting my own notes and thoughts on that. I ended up writing suggested language for the attorney um, that perhaps do, <coughs> which condenses the information. But it's it's I, so I, I guess I'm a little confused about the process and how it actually gets laid out versus what it is in the warrant article language. So is there someone that can help me with that before we? talk about sending something to the attorney? You might be. Um, you want to take that one, Dick? I'm wrong. Um, amendments are under consideration, the board shall vote whether to place each amendment on the town meeting ballot. If the amendment is approved, the planning board will write the question for the town meeting ballot immediately following the public hearing, and it will then be sent to town council for review. So, is, is that an RSA or is that our rules and procedure? Yes. It's a uh, rules of procedure. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Um, so, so we have the, the definitions, the road, private, and um, approved private, the driveway, and C was reported back to build a lot requirements. C was reported, reverted back to original and frontage Y added on um, road or body of Y. So that's the three. Okay. Um, for presentation to, to the voters, I, so he, here's what I was I was trying to grab, grapple with. Um, we dealt with it in 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 terms of the subject, and what I did was I flipped that around a little bit in, in my way of looking at things, and there are uh, really only two articles that were that are going to that in, the, in with this information that you have in your hand. There's only two articles in the zoning ordinance that are proposed to change, and so I was thinking, perhaps mistakenly so, that that would be two warrant articles instead of three because you have the um, Article 3 um, for the building lot change by adding that language about the driveway. But then in Article 10, there's four changes, one change and three additions. So I didn't know, you know from, from whether it would be simpler for the voters to package it that way, or would it be simpler to have it the way that we've been discussing it by having um, it separated as driveway issue, private road issue, and um, what was the third thing? Front frontage. Thank you. So I don't, I, I just don't, I was wondering if, if you, if there's an opportunity. I know that because we, these were only working documents that were just approved. Right. Uh, or that, that were, excuse me, they were acknowledged as. It's still working documents at this point. Okay. That's the motion that's on the table. Accepted. Well, you went further than that, though, and other than just accepting our packaging and sending it to the 
attorney. And I guess that's where I that's where I was a little confused as to whether or not this is the opportunity to just leave them as they are and send them through and have the three presented to the voters, or is it better to pre or, or is it presented to the voters as two articles that are suggested to be changed? Wrong. Um, I think that as considering how we want to package these is totally appropriate. I, I think that's something we should, should definitely talk about. Um, whether we go forward with one, two, or three, and ha if it's two, how we package those, I think is a legitimate question. Um, you've suggested that maybe one way to take the three down to two would be based on which article the change is in. Um, which is certainly easy for people to understand. You know, you have our, one of them would be, you know, require driveways, and the other one would be add a bunch of definitions or change definitions. Um, I think maybe the, one of the problems with that approach is that you might have half of the driveway change approved and half not approved. Oh. And so the question is, do those do those require one another? Um, I think we could also make you could also make the argument we should go to four more articles. One for whether or not a driveway is required. One for whether or not a driveway should have a definite, whether we want the definition for driveway, which limits it to two houses. And then the other two might be the road, private road definitions and then frontage definitions. Because so somebody might say, I really think everyone should have a driveway, but I think a driveway should be able to service five houses. Right? So they may want to vote yes on one part of that, but no on the other part. If we want to give people you know, sort of line out of veto kind of power, and that would be break those into pieces. Um, those those two might work separately. Okay, I could, I could see that. Um, I don't know that packaging all of the definition changes necessarily makes a lot of sense. Okay. However, I think that the private road, approved private road, and frontage changes actually go together pretty nicely because all three of those are really, we, we didn't approach it this, we didn't start this way, but they all sort of are about nailing down exactly what our zoning says about frontage, right? Because the, the place where approved private road is used is defining frontage that, that makes it a buildable lot. The definition change for frontage sort of goes along with that as well. So I could see merging those three definitions together and keeping the driveway separate as either one or two more articles related to driveways. The other approach would be that we just lump it all together as one. And we're gonna, you know, we would say we're, we're you know, requiring driveways and and clarifying private, for clarifying road frontage requirements and have it all as one. People can put the whole thing up or down. Anyway, I think it's a valid discussion to have. After we accept this, what, this is a process question. After we accept this or not accept this, it goes to the to the lawyer, to the attorney. She's going to format it the way we ask her to format it. So that's going to be another vote we're going to have to make, correct? Right? If we're going to separate it out the way we did. Do we get this back after she's completed it and get to a review? I think no, Judge. Um, in, in the past, what happens is. Uh, is all we got from the attorney was she did not she did not format what we have there. What she would do is she would only strictly use the wording of the one article itself. Is what would happen? So part part of the part of the you know wording of the one article it might be it might be worded such as do you agree um, that um, uh, with the change that has been proposed by the planning board to define driveway in such and such way. And also underneath that, um, it would be that the, we might put in there, the planning board um, has voted to approve, you know, this, this one article uh, for the public. So that way it, it informs the public how the planning board had voted on this, you know. So for example, just, this was last year, it will say like amendment They'll say, are you in favor of Amendment 1 to the Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? And then she's just going to insert 
a, a summary of what yes. the, what this working document change would be. It's, a, it's not the details of it, it's just the summary of it. So she, so the attorney's going to read it and then she's going to do that. Or in the past we've done it and sent that along to the attorney and she do final edits on it. But And do we see those final edits? That's I seem to think we did, but we're not really... What, what, we did, what we did in the past, sorry, for anyone, please forgive me. Um, I, in the past, I received them and I would forward them to the chairman at the time. For, 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 but as far as bringing it before the whole board, he, he, um, I don't remember us ever doing that, honestly. So for each, for each, kind of yeah. so for each um, article, amendment, warrant, it's going to have planning board has approved this change for each one. So we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to vote on each one if we approve this approved. We yes. I think the RSA is required that we if it can I think the RSA is required that we review all zoning or ordinance changes and vote to either approve or disapprove. Obviously if it came from the planning board as a versus petition if it did, if the planning board didn't approve it, you wouldn't put it on the ballot. But petition warrant article might be up, it will be on the ballot, but we may still vote to disapprove it. There's an RSA that has us do that. Has uh, us approve or disapprove? I believe so. And so I, I don't remember what we, what we do is we try to get the warrant article as correct and as formatted as correctly as possible. And then send them to the attorney just to make sure that they pass legal muster. We usually don't ask them to create them for us. So. I mean, I don't think any of these are particularly complex. That no. We no. Take a stab at them ourselves. It's, it's pretty straightforward, I think. And I think Diana, Diane might have started already. <coughs> I did, but it was <coughs> under, under what I thought was the different approach. But um, you know, I guess my, my, my feeling. Uh, on, on the attorney is that it's always easier and quicker for them to edit. So if we can save some time and provide the recommended language, which evidently the selectmen do, um, that that would make it, it, it would be less likely that they'd be surprised coming back from the attorney to, in addition to saving some money. And like you said, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We should be able to knock that together pretty quickly once we agree on how we want to present it. Um, okay. It, it um, just, excuse me, sorry, one last thing. It does not say in uh, last year's warrant articles uh, summary anything about um, the planning board recommending. Maybe that only goes on, maybe the one also only petition warrant articles that actually goes on the ballot. But we, we definitely vote on because the ones they wouldn't be, they wouldn't right. be presented. Right. We had a... We do or we don't. We, well, we vote on whether to put it on the warrant as a warrant article, but I think that it's implied if yes. it's if it came from us that we approve of it. We had um, the... was the camp, the resort campground thing on the lake? That was a petition warrant article, and we had to hold the public hearing for it and had to deliberate and decide. Then we decided we didn't, we tied or something, right? It was half and half, so. All right, I'm gonna withdraw my motion because it's too wordy. It takes on too much. And I'll make a new motion that we place these three amendments on the ballot. I got a second? Second. Discussion? Yes. Uh, I would uh, I would rather, I think, see us do two. One for driveways, one for frontage, rather than three. Okay, the motion is to put these on the ballot. And if that's accepted, 
it, so maybe I don't understand the motion exactly. Um, I'm following the protocol here and our um, rules of procedure. I'm making a motion whether we should place these amendments on the ballot. And if, if it, the amendment's approved, the planning board will write the question for the town meeting immediately following the public hearing. And it will be sent to the town council for review. So my motion is to accept these so we can get to work on them. So is your thought that we will, after we accept the three working documents, that we will then decide how to package them into That's my thought. amendments? Yes. Okay. The other approach would be that we could combine, if, if for example we wanted to combine two of them, we could combine, you know, vote to combine the working documents and then accept that. But I'm, I'm open to whatever process you want to follow. And I'm okay with all three of them going on the board. Or, I mean, it's not the end of the world if we do three rather than two. So. For clarity, I'd like to do three. Mr. Chairman, is that part of the motion? The three? Are you specifically mentioning the three at this time? I'm specifically mentioning the three. Okay, thank you. So the intent of the motion is to accept the three working documents. Yes. And move forward with each of them as a zoning uh, amendment. Correct. Correct. Okay. Just want to make sure I understand what the. Now, I'm just looking at the. It says the board shall vote whether to place each amendment on the town meeting ballot. Um, can I suggest three separate motions? Yes. Instead of one, just because so, somebody may, you know, not want driveways or something. Okay. I thought we'll throw out that motion. Um, making a motion to accept the changes to the zoning ordinance to add the definitions of private roads. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Next motion. Accept it. Um, I propose that we accept the driveway document. Second. Opposed? Motion carries. I move that we... I'm sorry. Did, did I miss something there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we're in a moment of silence there. <laughs> All yes, favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. I accept, I make a motion that we um, accept uh, letter Y, the change to the uh, frontage definition. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, let's word. Um, wait a minute. I close the public meeting now, right? The public hearing, yeah. Okay, I declare the public hearing closed. First one, the um, private road, improved private road. These are adding definitions to the zone lines. So, so we have to word this and send it to the attorney. And you've got, I think you've got some wording from a previous one in front of you. What, what's the format of that? Just the, just the. Are you in favor yeah. of amendment number one to the Brookfield zoning ordinance as proposed by the planning board as follows?
So then it would see add, add definitions to the zone rod that's as follows. Followed by these definitions. Article X, you have to say article, I think article X someplace, right? We're going to put <coughs> I think, I think that the wording that goes on the ballot doesn't necessarily have to say that. I, mean, I think it's fine if it does because it's concise, but, um, you, know, you know, I think we've, I mean, we don't have, I don't, we may have, you may have a change at some point that's scattered all over the place. You wouldn't necessarily have to lay out, okay, we're going to change a few words here and change a few words there. I think if we said add definitions, okay. it's really, I mean, somewhere there's going to be a definition. Right. So. Okay. So we say that. Read. 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 Um. This is one, right? Yes. You're still reading. Yeah. The public has arrived. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you in favor of amendment number law of the Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? Add definitions for private road and approve private road. Is that simple enough? Is that enough detail? That's, that's plenty of detail. Then it's followed on the warrant article as these two definitions. No, those won't be on the warrant article. Oh, they won't? No. If somebody, wants, if somebody wants to know what that what warrant article, <laughs> amendment number one is, they'll have to come in here <coughs> and we'll have papers on the table here, and they can say, oh, okay, well, this is amendment number one. Okay. We'll, we'll have this detail. Okay, then we'll re read it again. Okay. Are you in favor of amendment number one of Book Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? Add definitions for private road and approve private road. Okay. I just have a question. Why are we not why are we not just putting the definitions in the warrant article? How many the warrant articles do we have? We only have three more. Well, the board is three. And they're separate from the selectors. They're a different page. So these definitions are available here for review. Well, I know they are. I'm just saying how much more effort is it to take to put the language so the person doesn't have to wonder because now you're going to have people saying, well, where am I looking? What's the, what's the change? What's the wording? What are they voting on? Well, it, it, it makes sense to me to put the definitions on there that they're voting for. So the why, why, why would we not? Uh, so, we're not required to, and in fact, we're, it's discouraged if, the, the point of what goes on the ballot, this wording we're putting together now, is yep. to summarize the change. Yes. You don't want to have it so that somebody has to analyze the you know, text of it. Right? I mean, you remember last year we had 18, 15 different war articles that had all sorts of changes, right? You don't want to give somebody a ballot that's 20 pages thick to, and has all that detail. Um, it's not fair, and you know it's probably, it would probably be deemed illegal. The attorney wouldn't let us do that. Now these are short enough that if we maybe the attorney would let us, but that's the, the whole point is to summarize what the change is, and let people that care figure out the detail of it. You know, I mean, it's anyway. So I understand. Um, yes. If. Is this is this language going to be on the website or somewhere that somebody can and here on the road? In the past, we have put on the website. So We're just yeah. trying to make sure that we cover our bases, so the public has been given what they need. So there's no question about us doing everything we're supposed to. That's all we're saying. These will be available on the website and. In the town hall. Okay, Judge? Yes. Thank you. So we'll start the summer. That makes sense. And, and it's 
excuse me. Yes. Could I, could I suggest that if if you're going to put something on the website, that it not simply be what we uh, the, the working document just retitled? Um, it works for the private road because it's new language. Um, well, it also works for the driveway, but I guess. I, I think it would be proposed uh, mm -hmm. definitions from Warrant Article 1. Okay. And then it would have... Oh, I see what you're saying. All right. Um, and then it would have these two definitions. At, at, what I'm really getting at is, sorry, um, on the frontage, which is the change, that's the only one that's not an addition, that there be, as we have done before, or at least last year, where there was um, showing what the what 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 the language was and what it's proposed to be, like with a line through the old language and italicize the new language. Does that make sense? Yeah, we'll take that under consideration when we get there. In the presentation to the public. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the. Um, Do you want a motion for that? For what? <coughs> Yes, I do. Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, we, the wording for the private road uh, warrant article be as follows. Are you in favor of amendment number one of the Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? Add definitions for private road and approve private road. Do you got a second? A second. David. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Separate. You get that one, Judge? Yes. Let's, let's move on to driveway. I think this one's going to be a common copy, right? Obviously, we want to break that into two. We could, and it would be straightforward. Well, now, now that you read it, it makes sense. And then these two will be available to the public. Yep, as a member number two. Got a motion? Want to have a motion? Yeah. Sure. Um, I'm going to read it as part of the motion, and we always discuss it as part of the discussion. For the motion. Are you in favor of amendment number two of the Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? To clarify that a driveway is required for each dwelling and that a driveway cannot serve more than two lots. Second. Discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. Third Amendment on frontage. Got it? I do. Okay. Are you in favor of amendment number three of the Berkfield zoning ordinance as proposed by the planning board as follows? To simplify the definition of frontage. So I'm not sure that either can you clarify? Rather than simplify? Clarify. To clarify the definition of frontage? Does this simplify? Well, there's fewer words, I don't know. Either way, if you simplify something, it should improve its clarity, so I think clarifies are also. I think we also need to use, use clarify in the second one as well. Yeah, there you go. So we'll be consistent. Consistent, okay. People okay with that? I'm happy to make a motion if. Okay, right. so uh, I move that we have the wording for. The uh, frontage or an article as follows. Are you in favor of amendment number three of the Brookfield Zoning Ordinance as proposed by the Planning Board as follows? To clarify the definition of frontage. Second. 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 Discussion. Will somebody, uh, do you have the original frontage? That's closely where I'm going to read it. Can you read it Frontage, that part of the lot line, the lot or lot line abutting the classified or private road, not interrupted by a lot of other ownership or by a street. That's not the most recent one. That's level one. What date from the bottom here? This is the one from the last meeting. Yeah, that was suggested. That was suggested. March, March 10th reads, that part of the lot or lot line abutting an approved street or road not interrupted by a lot of other ownership or by a street. Okay, we're removing that. And we're putting in that part of the lot, a lot line abutting a road or a or a body of water. All right? That's the proposed change. So because this is a change to an existing definition, you propose to have the old and the new on the website? Just, just for the right to uh, identify what the changes are. Everything else is an addition. Is new. We've done that in the past? Yes. <coughs> okay. Yeah, if I recall, I think it was last year we had the 15 yep. more articles we went. Yep. We ended up uh, going, trying again, right? Yep. To, <laughs> we had a second public hearing and basically we went through all of the, you know, sort of the detail of exactly what changed, what changed, right? You know, before and after. Is that great? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will be available <laughs> in the building and on the website. Yes. From and to. Yeah, I think we've got a motion on the table, but I think we've, what, if you don't mind, I've got some other thoughts related to what we put. Still in discussion, so. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, it's not related to this motion, but 
when we put together the documents that we're going to make available to the public to explain these three amendments, yep. I would suggest that we take the the language we're voting on now, put that on there. So you know, so have a document that says, you know, are you in favor of amendment number one? Blah 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 blah. Whatever, whatever we, whatever the attorney approves, and then that we then take the text from the working document. And in the case where we're just adding, that would be it. And then for the case where we're changing it, um, have it, you know, like the proposed language, and then show the new, the frontage, blah blah blah. That we, and then the existing language, and show the existing one. I think it's easier for people. It's short enough, and it's easy enough for people to just compare them. I think. Yeah. That it, that'll be easier than people trying to figure out how to read words, you know, mark up, you know, the track changes, crossing right. stuff out. Stuff like that. Right. But that's separate from the motion to take a right All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. How will these go to the attorney, George? Um, yeah, I can, if, with, your, uh, with your permission, I can contact uh, uh, Ms. Spector as soon as, as soon as possible. If you want me to, I can do that tomorrow. Okay. Can I? You just mail them down. You mail them down. Mm -hmm. um, I email them. Yeah, I first, con I first contact the office to let them know what's going on back home, and then and then email them for you. CC the board. I'm sorry. We just CC the board. Oh yes, absolutely. Can I suggest that to George put together the document for the public that has the three changes in it that we just talked about yeah. and send that to the attorney have the proposed wording and also the details of the proposed changes yes so that she can I mean what her job is to make sure that the language is meets the legal muster which includes she has to understand what the changes are so she can feel comfortable that we're we properly describe the changes okay, that, that's that's what I expected to be sent but that, that spells it out. So you got two clear, clear jobs? Two dots, yes. Yes. Yeah. Two, two attachments. This is what's going on in the war, and this is the work behind it. I would do it as one. I mean, I think this all fit on one page. Well, I would just make it so you, it's clear that we're not going to put this on the war. Oh, I see what you're saying. This is, this is the background that we're going to put in our web, but this is the war. Fair enough. Fair enough. Somebody's got questions, you know, they can, 
they can see what those, you know, while they're voting, they can go and look at those documents. The document that explains that quote. That lets them know in, in advance what's going on. And they're not in the booth all day trying to make decisions. Gotcha. Is it, is it a requirement to give the voter the ballot and the changes, or is that, like, how, did, how is that announced when they come in? The taxpayer comes in, are they handed both documents, or are they handed the ballot and said the changes are available on the table? They're handed the ballot. And sample ballots are available, I don't know how far ahead, but they're usually available on the website. And so you'll actually be able to see all of the Warren articles and everything else well ahead of the election. Yes. How far ahead is that? At least, at least a week. The town report is to be out at least a week before the election. And there's two different ballots. There's a selectman's ballot they will be handed and a planning board ballot. Is that correct? And two school board, right? And school board. No, no. There must be a school board. Must be. We don't see that. But I mean, we don't. It goes in a separate box, so it has to be on a separate piece of paper, right? Oh, yes. <coughs> I, I saw the selectmen and the planning board on a separate piece of paper. Yes, yes, they are. The yes. selectmen are usually dur are during the meeting, right? Yes, ours, we don't vote on ours at the ballot. We vote on ours next door. Right. So I think yours have to go to Virginia to be put on the ballot. Right. Why, why is that done like that? Why, is, why, why do we get a ballot and you get to do it in town meeting? Because uh, there's the money. money. Money gets voted on in person at town meeting. All the money stuff. So the ballot has administrative, you know, I don't know, crap like this, and election of people, and approval of school budget, which is goes through the deliberative process. So that's the money we voted on. Is was only the part of it that is S, was SB two. We're not an SB two. Right, but the school district is. Yes, but that's a different. Yeah, they go, they have the deliberative session this month, right? Yeah. This month. Okay. Anything on the table? Public comments? Number comments?